the Philippine Navy will soon get a much welcome gift from South Korea that could help modernize its antiquated fleet at a time when it's trying to look strong in. The 1,200-ton coastal defense vessel, or corvette, promised to Manila by Seoul last week, can be armed with cannons, torpedoes and anti-ship missiles. Its donation, announced by the Philippine Department of Foreign Affairs, makes South Korea the latest in a series of military benefactors to the Southeast Asian country. The US, for example, has already donated two ex-Coast Guard cutters to the Philippines, and Japan is in the process of supplying the Philippine Coast Guard with 10 new patrol boats via $184 million loan. The show of support for the hopelessly outgunned Filipinos partly sends a message to China that ties between Seoul and Manila are strong and strengthening, not least when it comes to defense. The donation, said to arrive by the end of the year, is also a prudent move that could benefit South Korea. Manila is currently putting out tenders for the purchase of two new frigates worth around $410 million, its largest ever naval procurement. Three of the four bidders for the contract are South Korean, and the selection of one of those three appears highly likely given Seoul's increasing closeness to Philippines. South Korea had a big win in March, when Manila signed a $420 million deal for 12 Korean F-A-50 light fighter aircraft, the first fighter planes the country's air force has operated in a decade. If a Korean shipbuilder also scoops the frigate contract it will be an added bonus. In addition, Seoul is working to convince the Philippines to buy its Ka-1 Wangbi following a call last month by the Philippine Air Force that it was in the market for six new close air support aircraft, military lingo for planes that protect soldiers on the ground. Together, the six planes are worth around $114 million, and Seoul stands a good chance of making the sale, especially if it keeps up the charm offensive by donating more sweeteners to the Philippine military in the form of free, second-hand kit. For the Philippine Armed Forces, the donation and accelerated procurement programs could finally give it the minimum credible deterrent. Manila feels it need to make China, and others in the region, take the country a little more seriously.